Hi guys and gals and welcome to another video on Python and web scraping with Python. So today we are going to talk about uh, an introduction, have an introduction to the beautiful soup library. Uh, and the beautiful soup library, what it does is that it tries to make sense of the nonsensical uh, stuff. It like it helps format and organize the messy messy web by, by fixing the bad HTML and uh, presenting to us with easily traversable Python objects representing XML structures. So uh, installing beautiful soup uh, because the beautiful library is not a default Python library, it must be installed. So we will be using the beautiful soup four library, which is also known as BS4. Uh, and this is what we are going to call it throughout this tutorial. So the complete instructions for installing beautiful soup can be found at crummy.com. Let me see if I can find the website. Here it is. It's crummy.com slash software slash beautiful soup slash BS4 slash doc. So if you Google it, you should be able to find it. Anyhow, <coughs> some the basics. Uh, a method for installing on Linux, for example, it's sudo apt-get install python-bs4. Uh, on the Mac, it's uh, sudo easy install pip. You have to install pip. It's the package manager, Python package manager. And then you do pip install beautiful soup. And likewise on Windows, it's the same procedure. If you have pip install installed, you just do pip install beautiful soup 4. And if you have installed Python 3, you to execute that script, it's just a Python 3, then my script, .py. I'm Like I said, I'm using Visual Code Studio, uh, Visual Studio Code, sorry, and I don't have to execute the stuff from the Python, um, from the command line. So, uh, depending on how you have set up your uh, environment, you just have to figure out how you uh, execute the scripts. And how I have done it is that my, when I type Python, it runs automatically Python 3. And if I want to run Python 2, I just type pi. This is the way I have set up my stuff. Uh, you can do your own uh, setup and how you do the setups you can find it on the on other um, many of my other videos so uh, do check them out the beginning be uh, the crash course python crash course so when you have installed it you can run it by checking it out on your command line and if I run Python, just to check if you have uh, in installed it. So let's uh, import it. Yeah, it's um, it should uh, the import should complete without errors. So. And one more thing about, excuse me, this one. If you want to uh, just isolate, you don't want to install Beautiful Soup or any of the libraries that we are talking about in this tutorial on your global uh, installation, uh, is that you can use virtual environments, which is virtual ENV, and uh, to isolate uh, the libraries that you want to control so you don't mix up your libraries for global systems as well that don't conflict with other programs or other applications so go ahead and use virtual env i've also talked about virtual env in other videos you can check those videos out and uh, if you have installed anaconda like me you can use conda as a virtual environment uh, that works uh, as well so if you don't, if you want to have isolated environments for for working on this tutorial, do uh, install it on a virtual env. So uh, now let's try to run uh, our 
uh, beautiful soup. So the most commonly used object in beautiful soup library, library is uh, appropriately the beautiful soup object. So let's look at this interaction, modifying the example that we had in the last video. So let's import some stuff here from this for import beautiful soup and VS Code just gives me everything I need. And here we need to the HTML is the same that we are going to use from the previous example. But this time we just want to collect um uh, um just one uh, object from the html uh, html um, document which we are putting in the bs bs object variable and from that a variable we can um collect the item that we are interested in, in this case the h1 uh, the header uh, heading h1 so if you try to run it and it should give us some yeah uh, this uh, this warning is uh, it's not uh, a problem uh, it's just that it's a warning it, it just wants to know which type of uh, markup that you want to use for your um, beautiful soup so just put lx lxml here and that warning should then go away and we should have the output an interesting title that's the h1 object uh, of the beautiful soup that we have loaded into bs object variable and uh, so as in the example before we are importing the url open library and calling html read in order to get the html content of the page so this html content is then transformed into a beautiful soup object with the following structure up here so you have the html you have the head you have the body and uh, in the head we have the title and you have in the body you have the h1 and div um, elements so note that the h1 tag that we extracted from the page was nested in a, a two layers deep into our beautiful soup object structure it was html and then body and h1 However, we actually fetched it from the object uh, we call the h1 tag directly with this um, execution. So in, in fact, any of these four, uh, the following functions calls would uh, produce the same output. You can call it bsobject.html.body.h1 or bsobject.body dot h1 or bs object dot html dot h it will would give you the same result as this one so i hope uh, this small taste of beautiful soup has given you an idea of the power and simplicity of this library so virtually any information can be extracted from any html or xml file as long as it has some identifying tag surrounding it or near it so in a later tutorial, we'll delve more deeply into some more complex beautiful soup function calls, as well as uh, uh, take a look at regular expressions and how they can be used with beautiful soup in order to extract information from websites. So in the next video, we're going to uh, talk a little about how to connect reliably uh, with beautiful soup. So I hope to see you in the next video. And again, if you enjoy this video, please like it, subscribe to my channel, comment or share the video uh, with others. So I hope you can th that way support me. So thank you so much for watching and I see you soon in the next video. Okay, bye guys.